Yeah, 40 minutes past the hour here on AMHQ. All right, winter storm Iga is causing a lot of problems out there in the south this morning and already having impacts. Um, and there will be more on the east coast coming our way. So uh, let's take a look at some of the issues. American uh, Airlines sending out a warning to passengers before the storm. They're allowing p Amer passengers to change their travel plans without having to pay a fee. And of course, um, you should because I already canceled some flights to in and out of Houston, anticipating problems on the roads too later today. And if you're traveling, I-95. Get ready. Your changes come later on today. There's some light snow out there right now. Got a report from my uh, grandmother in the Philadelphia area. She said the snow was gone, you know, soon after it fell. But there will be more, oh, yeah. especially later today, tonight, and then early tomorrow. Get ready for impact snow. I-95 north and west. That's where some of the bigger totals will come. So be ready. The commute even home today could be a bit dicey, but certainly overnight good, tonight. Good point. All right, so you don't uh, need for us to tell you that it's really cold outside, right? And getting colder. Yes. Now, if you have to be outside, we tell you this all the time you want to bundle up but there's one ohio man who is wearing shorts all winter and he's doing it for a good cause shall we meet him yes. let's do that uh, yes jeff campbell is the owner of campbell's boarding kennels in mount vernon ohio he joins us live this morning to talk about why that is uh, jeff good morning you are the owner of a dog boarding kennel and you work outside why the shorts i started wearing the shorts to help uh create awareness that the animals, the dogs, and the cats need help. It's very cold out here right now. Um, it's nine degrees, and I've seen a lot of the news stories about dogs and cats freezing, and it's basically to create awareness. So awareness, but also a fundraiser. What made you decide to turn this into a fundraiser? It, I, I originally... Tried, thought I was going to try to do this uh, on my own, just as a personal challenge. After two days, realizing how cold it was, I realized that there were dogs and cats outside in this, and I started a GoFundMe uh, account, Shorts in Winter for Shelters, and all the money goes to the two shelters here in the area. And um, it, it was a quick decision after i realized how cold it was there's no way i would i would be doing this if it wasn't for the shelters it's, it's just way too cold yeah so we've been showing your page jeff you raised over three thousand dollars which is awesome by the way uh how are your legs brother and all that how, how are you doing with this um it's been tough the coldest it's been actual temperature is minus four the coldest actual Oof. wind chill is minus 14 um, and I don't think people realize I'm out here for quite a while. I mean, I'm, I'm careful, but, you know, I have to get, the way my kennel is set up, I have to get my dogs out. So I am literally standing out with them, um, sometimes up to 45 minutes. So this isn't Ooh, just man. like I'm wearing shorts around the house or, you know, I'm running to a warm car and running into a grocery store. I'm literally standing outside with them. Well, Jeff, actually, I'm I'm doing it right now. Be be safe. Actually, you have me a little concern uh, for safety because with temperatures as cold as you're talking, you know, you can run into frostbite concerns. Be safe. Um, and wow, good luck with the challenge. He even sounds cold. He does sound cold. All right, Those Jeff. Dogs look cold too, didn't they? They do, they do yeah. look cold out there. Make sure you put the little booties on the dogs out there. Uh, all right, man, you'll never see in shorts in the winter time. Mike Sedell, let's talk to him in Shreveport. Mike, what do you got on the ground right now? Looks like we've got about three inches. We're waiting for the uh, 8 a.m. Central update from uh, the Shreveport NWS, National Weather Service. Meanwhile, we've got an SUV off the road in the ditch there. That's the eastbound on-ramp I-20 going towards downtown Shreveport. Uh, the Shreveport Police Department and the uh, sheriff from uh, Kenno Parish, they have just shown up. I think the driver's okay. They must have gone down that ramp a little too quickly. Now, there's not a whole lot of grade on that ramp, and we've been seeing cars go down it, and they've been crawling. I mean, literally a mile or two miles an hour. We've got a couple that are going to turn right there right now and try to get down there. But everything out here, it may look okay, but it's a solid sheet of ice. It's a skating rink because we had the rain that froze, and then we have the snow on top of it. And it's down to 22 degrees, and the wind chill is 9. The snow has ended, but the damage has been done on these roadways, and nothing really is going to change all day long. Fortunately, just about everything is closed. Schools, government offices, just essential personnel at Barksdale Air Force Base. 
And we're going to see a lot of this because folks are not slowing down and they're out there without four-wheel drive, which really doesn't matter when you have this kind of ice on the roadways. You need a Zamboni. You can see how the cars are going down the ramp very, very slowly. So a tough day here in the Arkley Tex. And it's going to be another tough night in tomorrow morning because temperatures tonight go down to the teens. And this mess is heading towards the northeast. Jim Cantori has more of the impacts of Inga there coming up.